Hey everyone, welcome to Love to Create by Tanya. Happy to be back creating with you today. I will be uploading new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. This week's theme is going to be kitchen decor. In this design, we will be using lemons and roses. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's a few of the supplies that you'll need. This was a Goodwill find, this little lemon picture, one of the wire wreath rims from Dollar Tree, the lemon garland I purchased at Michael's, the Excelsior grass, that was from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna use a little bit of this burlap on the roll, and you could also use some ribbon to wrap around here, or you could even take some paper and wrap around. You're basically just wanting to build a base that we're going to glue our Excelsior grass to. And you can see this is a really neat technique to do with the burlap. And this is a real simple design that you could just leave as it is and decorate it for that farmhouse theme. But I wanted a little bit more texture on this design, so I decided to use a couple bags of the Excelsior grass. And as you're forming this, you want to handle it really gently because the grass will kind of hold together itself if you don't separate it too much. And you can see I just am building it up over top of the uh, burlap that I placed on the wreath rim. And we will be trimming off a little bit of the excess here in a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and glue down the underneath just a little bit with the hot glue. And I don't know if you remember the little trick I showed you with the Mod Podge. We're just gonna take some of that Mod Podge and put some gloves on and just very gently pat that over the grass. And once it dries, it will help hold everything together. Now I took and just kind of hit mine with the hair dryer a little bit so I could get it dry really quick. And you'll notice as you start shaping it after you have dried it, everything just starts holding together really well. Now I'm gonna trim mine down for just a little neater look. And I love the texture that this Excelsior grass gives to your wreath. Now with today's design being about the lemons, I would love it if you would uh, become part of my Facebook group. I will leave a link in the description below. And I thought it would be fun this week if you would like to share any of your favorite lemon recipes. I'll be posting a few of my favorite on there also today. Also, next Tuesday, I'll be leaving a link in the description below for my blog, and there I will be sharing more about my personal journey as a creator. And you'll find lots of different uh, tips and tricks. I'm going to be posting lots of different uh, photographs of things that I have done over the years. So I'll hope to see you there. Now let's get back to our wreath. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take these uh, yellow roses that I had purchased at Goodwill and I'm just gonna add a few of these up to the top here. Now we're just gonna get everything glued on really well. And I'm gonna take some of my really fine wire and just very gently go over a few places on the wreath just to secure everything. Now I am just putting a little hot glue on the back of my wreath for my sign and you may want to use a little E6000 with that for a permanent hold. And you can see I'm taking some of the sparkle mesh and I just love this yellow how it looked with the lemon. And I'm just going to kind of take this and just kind of weave it around over the top of the wreath. And you can place this on however you like. I just wanted just a little bit of this sparkle running throughout in between the lemons. 
Now here is a fun little tip. I bought these lemons at Michael's and instead of using the whole lemon, we're going to take them because they're just foam on the inside and I'm going to cut these right in half and then just glue them on the wreath and that way it gives you several more of your lemons to use for another project. I actually did go back and add just a few more of these before I had hung it up on the wall. Now here's a fun little uh, way to make a bow. This is kind of like my waterfall bow. And what you're doing is you're just folding the layers up and you can see I'm just stapling them. And then you'll just fold another little loop up and you'll staple that down. And you can do as many or as little of these as you like. And I make them this way so I can actually hang them upside down. So they kind of look like a waterfall. And really it's just a different way to add some of the texture of a bow into your design and I just love the fun little ways that you can take the ribbon and manipulate it into just different styles. And you can see how cute that looks and it's just really simple because you just staple it together and I will tell you the small little stapler does work better for this because you can really wiggle it down in between each of the layers of the loops. And see it just gives a little something right there. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial of our lemon rose wreath. It was a really fun design to make. And of course you know me, I can't stop. I have to add a few more sprigs of little greenery here. And this is some of my leftover greenery that I just love it because it looks like thyme leaves. And actually I think I have a really good lemon and thyme chicken recipe that I'll try to post in my uh, Facebook group. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of the wire to the back here as a hanger. And here I go again, digging in my ribbon. <laughs> I think I will go ahead and add just a little bit of this little checkered board uh, tan color. I just think that adds just a little bit more of the farmhouse feel. And you can see all I'm doing is just folding over some loops and I'm just going to staple those right there at the bottom. And I'm just going to tuck a few of these right down into the wreath. Okay, everyone, I think I'm gonna call this one done. And there we go, isn't that just beautiful? Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of the lemon rose wreath. I enjoyed making this one for you. And tomorrow we'll be creating another uh, farmhouse kitchen design. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you do so. And if you already have, I would like to thank you. And I will see everyone next time.